In Val di Zoli, we welcome back the boss, the one and only, certainly the greatest female cyclist of all time, quite possibly the single greatest cyclist of all time outright. So prime your eyes and ears, because today I'm going to tell you about Mariana Voss. It's a tale that begins all the way back in 1987 in a village called Babylonianburg, a small village in the river deltas of the Netherlands with a name so ridiculous that I'm convinced it's made up, despite the fact that it's quite literally less than an hour's drive from my house. She grew up there with parents who are, to put it mildly, genuinely inspirational, and with a brother who joined a local cycling team. And where this brother, Anton, didn't take the racing too seriously, a certain Mariana really, really did. When you look back through old interviews, you notice quite quickly that despite Mariana Voss obviously having ridiculous amounts of talent, the one thing that really sets her apart is an absolute top-notch mentality. Voss combines a stubborn refusal to give up with constant self-determination, but is also very critical of own mistakes, constantly wanting to learn and improve. And that, that is where this rider separates herself from anybody else. It's difficult to find a lot of information about Mariana Voss's exploits in junior categories, which I think partially could be because she just never bothered with them. At 14 years of age, she finished fourth in the elite national cyclocross championships in the Netherlands. This was back in 2002. Later on, in the next season, but still in 2002, and now 15-year-old Mariana Voss became the youngest rider to podium in a World Cup, doing so in Kondhout. Just to put this into perspective, the next youngest podium sitter between the men's and women's elite World Cup races is Puk Peterson, who did this in Overijse this year, 2021. She achieved this at 19 years of age. That's a four year age difference. That's ridiculous. Throughout the following years, Voss kept on being ridiculous. In 2004 in Pijnacker, Voss became the youngest winner of a World Cup race, doing so at 16 years of age. This is an absolute landslide. The next youngest winner is, just to put things into perspective, Mathieu van der Poel, who did so in Hoge Heide 2015, a few days after turning 20. The next youngest woman to win a race is actually from the same podium where Pizza did her first podium, back in Overijse, where Blanca Vass took the win. She did so about a month older than van der Poel. I mean, it really says a lot that Voss is able to make people like Macho van der Poel and Blanca Vass look human and look almost ordinary. You know, the, ex the exploits that they do are completely ridiculous, but they're being blown out the water by what Voss has achieved as essentially still a child. And it only took Voss a few months of legally no longer being a child to become world champion. At 18 years of age in Zedam in 2006, Mariana Voss became the elite women's world champion. She's the only teenager to hold an elite cyclocross rainbow jersey. Not on the men's side, not on the women's side. She's the only one. Her nearest rivals in age-based rainbow jersey records are Mathieu van der Poel and Erik de Vlaaminck, who were both 20 when they took their maiden rainbow jersey. The next youngest woman to wear the rainbow jersey is Céline del Colman Alvarado, managing to do so at 21 and a half, roughly in Dubendorf in 2020. The next youngest after this is, by the way, also Mariana Voss, who was 21 when she took the rainbow jersey for the second time in her career. This second rainbow jersey came in 2009, and it was the first of six consecutive cyclocross world titles, meaning that she holds the joint record for most cyclocross rainbow jerseys, seven, along with Erik de Vlaaminck. Technically, based on the amount of silvers and bronzes she's won, more than de Vlaaminck, she could be considered the greatest cyclocross rider of all time. And even outside of cyclocross, Voss has been completely ridiculous. She's a triple world champion on the road, she's a double world champion on the track, and the owner of two Olympic gold medals. In the road world championship, she also won five consecutive silver medals, a sixth one as well in 2021. She's also taken bronze twice. And even while being primarily a road cyclist and winning everything that pretty much exists in women's road cycling, she's still amassed 26 World Cup victories. That's more than any other woman. We now get to the bit where I try and quantify Mariana Voss as a cyclist, which is something that's essentially impossible because there's nothing that she can't do. In more recent years, later in her career, she's turned more into a, a puncher, a more sprinty kind of rider someone similar to Julian Alaphilippe on the men's side. But she nonetheless has a history of being a great climber. She finished second in Paris-Roubaix this year. 
there's essentially nothing that she can't do and you can never count out Mariana Voss for anything. I'd say nowadays the courses that suit her more are more power heavy places. Somewhere like, like Fireville or like Waterloo where she won. A constant climbing course like Namua wouldn't necessarily suit her as much. Nor would courses that need hyper hyper technicality. Because she isn't as technical as some of the newer riders. Or some of the older more established ones who train technique all the time. Voss's major benefit at the moment is her massive engine, which is how she was able to rival Brandt so well in the early races in America. Now of course this makes it sound like I'm implying Voss doesn't have any technical ability and she wouldn't be able to keep up or something ridiculous like that. It's Mariana Voss, obviously she could, she's world class at anything she tries due to the aforementioned crazy mentality she has. She can do anything fine, she's basically world class at everything, she's just even more world class at the whole power engine bit. Having already taken two victories from three World Cup appearances in America, Voss will make in her return to the World Cup in Val d'Isolé on the 12th of December. She'll also appear at Ruckfen on the 18th and then Le Monde on Boxing Day. Then going into 2022, Voss will be making four appearances throughout January to round out her cyclocross calendar. On the 3rd she'll race the World Cup in Hulst, then she'll ride the National Championships of the Netherlands on the 9th in Zaltbommel. On the 23rd she'll be there for the final round of the World Cup in Hoogerheide, before trying to make the trip to the World Championships on the 29th of January in Fayetteville. In conclusion, Mariana Voss is one of only a handful of people who can rightfully claim to be the greatest cyclist of all time. Some of the things she's done, the races she's ran, the records she holds, they will never, ever be broken. And for that, you cannot deny that she is a true living legend.